Hi scientists, uh, in this video you are going to learn how to create a double line graph in Google Sheets. So in this uh, exercise we went through a simulation uh, trying to figure out what the connection was between uh, uh, the mass of objects and the gravitational force. So what we did was we went through the simulation, um, gathered the data, and this is our data in the table so far. So now that we have our data already created, um, uh, or put into our table. What we're going to do now is uh, make a double line graph from it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is start your cursor and your mouse in A1, click it and drag. So you're going to click and drag all of the cells up until you get to C9. Okay. So now that you've highlighted all of the cells, uh, the they should be shaded in some sort of color. In this case, it's blue. Once you do that, you're going to click the, uh, the insert right at the top here. So you click insert and then click chart. And if I'm going too fast as I'm explaining this, you can pause the video, do the step, and then um, continue where you left off on. And then you're going to see a chart pop up here. And you're going to go to chart type here, click that, and go down to where it says line and click line chart. You'll notice that we have two lines, so this is a double line graph. So now that we have that, we're going to customize our table so that it uh, fits what needs to um, be labeled and designed uh, the way that it's supposed to be. So you're going to click customize and you're, you're going to click chart and axis titles. Chart and axis titles. The first thing that you're going to want to do is change the chart title, so it's on chart title already. You're going to double click here, and then delete everything that is in the title text, and you're going to title this what our lab was called. So if you go back to our, our lab sheet, this is called gravitational force between objects, so we'll do that. We'll label it gravitational force between objects. gravitational force between objects. Okay, And for this we're going to want to center it, so we're going to click alignment and then this center button right here. Now our title of the graph uh, is centered. Next we're going to want to label our horizontal axis, that's this axis right down here, and we're getting that axis by looking at this column right here. So this is telling us the number. This is telling us the number of um, kilograms for the mass of object two. So this is what um, uh, is is changing. So we're going to label that mass of object two in what kilograms. So we'll label that there, mass of object two, and then in parentheses in kilograms. Okay, And then our vertical axis, which is this axis right here, what are these numbers telling us? These numbers, if we look back at our simulation or at the top of your graph, um, your table, you'll notice that they're labeled the number of newtons. So we're going to write the number of newtons. That'll be gravitational force, the number of newtons. Gravitational force. And then in parentheses, we'll write in newtons. And these are units of, gravi of gravitational force named after uh, Sir Isaac Newton. OK, now that we've done that, we have our titles for the axes and the uh, title of the chart or the graph. And finally, we're going to um, click on the legend here that tells us what this blue um, line represents and what this red line represents. And we're going to move the position of the legend from being on the right to being on the bottom. Now that we've done that, our graph is ready to be copied into our Google Doc. So we're going to click out of here. Then we're going to click once on the graph. Make sure it looks just like this and no other parts are highlighted. And you're going to hit Control-C. And then you're going to 
go to your Google uh, Doc, and where it says insert your double line graph here from Google Sheets, then delete the sentence, you're going to hit Control V. So now that your graph is um, below where it says Figure 1, you'll highlight Insert your double line graph from Google Sheets, and de then delete the sentence, and then actually delete it. And then you'll come up here and you'll write a caption that describes what type of graph that you've created. So what kind of graph is this? This we know is a double line graph, so you'll name it. And then what is it? What is the graph comparing at different distances? What is it comparing? So you'll look at both of these um, axes to write down what it's comparing. Okay. Then once your graph is is done and your your caption for it is done, you will come back in here and you will write down your um, your argument defending the claim that gravitational interactions are attractive and depend on the masses of interacting objects.